In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use whatthefont.com. Sometimes it gets really difficult to try to find particular fonts. And in this case, Tom was looking for the font for Steve's. So the first thing I do is I'm going to go ahead and just take a screenshot of just that area. I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop and grab that image. Now the resolution is not going to be the greatest, as you can see. It's real jagged. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into image size and I'm going to increase the resolution to 150 dpi. It's going to blur it a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my crop tool and I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but close. So I'm going to go ahead and just straighten that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to image, adjustments, desaturate, and I'm going to invert the image. We go back into select color range. I want to select the black area here and you can see in this window there's some white missing here. So I'm going to hold in the shift key and you'll see the plus mark on the eyedropper tool and I'm just going to select in that area and you can see it got real nice and bold. You can also adjust your fuzziness controls here. You can see how it will select um, usually around 100 or so seems to work pretty well for this type of image. Let me go ahead and select inverse and delete. And go ahead and delete any additional images that really aren't needed. I'm going to save this as a JPEG file. You don't want too large of a file because what the font will not be able to recognize it. And it'll say it's too big and you'll have to go back and save it again. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and choose my file, Steve's. I'm going to upload my image. And what the font's going to automatically detect the lettering, lowercase, uppercase. If it is lowercase here, you want to make sure it's uppercase to match. And it's already selected everything for me. The apostrophe, uh, we're not going to worry about that. And just go ahead and hit search. You can see right here, New Berolina was one of the, uh, the actual fonts it selected and that is the correct font. Now the uh, apostrophe is not correct on this font so you can substitute with a different one. So we're going to just do a sample font type in Steve's at 72 point and you can see the apostrophe is not the same. But again you can always substitute that or do a real quick draw. So that's the tutorial on how to use whatthefont.com.